Hey, what's up everybody? Andy here with something pretty cool. Super excited about this. This right here is a binder uh, from my childhood that my parents just found in their garage. Um, apparently I compiled this thing in 95, which is about the time I stopped collecting. Maybe even after I stopped. But... Um, I'm super surprised at what's in here. I've only looked through it once on my own. Um, so I'm just going to flip through it with y'all. But there's a lot more non-baseball than I thought. And <laughs> the other thing, as you'll see, um, I don't know. I, it's just, this is so cool to me. And I always enjoy seeing stuff from other people's childhood. So did this uh, 91 Fleer, some football. Joe Montana, Barry Sanders. So there was no real rhyme or reason, except I just kind of put players I liked in here, I think. And, you know, stuff I thought might be worth money one day, but some 95 score. I, I don't even remember owning those at all. So here's some basketball. David Robinson, cool Michael Jordan. Super dinged up. Skybox. So I did watch basketball back in those days. This was one of my all-time favorite cards. Just because, look at that. Magic versus Jordan. Epic. Epic, epic. It's Dominique Wilkins. That's my man. Chris Mullen, Christian Leitner, Future Force, and Shaq, Future Force. So some rookie cards there. Uh, again, just can't believe how much basketball I had. Totally forgot that I had all these. That Matumbo is awesome. That is a Michael Jordan. I think in a shadow you can see it a little bit better. So it's like a hologram card. <clears throat> there's the the back of it I have no clue how rare that is or I don't know anything about any of this uh, basketball stuff but maybe somebody can tell me my my initial thought is it's probably all um, just nostalgic right no, who cares about the value on this finally we get to some baseball several pages in and some 91 Upper Deck, 90 Donruss. Anyway, you get the idea. There's a Braves, Mark Waller's rookie. Frank Viola. There's a Pudge. And a Klesko rookie, Dave Justice, Steve Avery. A lot of Braves on this page. Mike And uh, Roger Clemens. Um... <clears throat> not sure if this Pudge is considered a rookie or not, but it's either that or a second year. So these are just some uh, cards that I had as a kid. And I, I don't know. It, there's nothing remarkable here, but it's very much a trip down memory lane for me. And maybe you all see some cards that you used to have too. Now, what's really interesting here, besides the fact that I have no rhyme or reason to this binder. It's so random. Oh, this is this is one of my favorite cards. Um, okay, so look at that. Now I have since looked for this Nolan Ryan card with the bloody jersey, um, and had I was not successful finding it. And when we see the back, I'll tell you exactly what that is. But, I don't know, man. Just some, some junk era gold here. So this Nolan Ryan, Sports Stars USA. And look at all those uh, awesome stats. But anyway, just soak, just soak that card in for how great it is. <laughs> That's classic. I'm so, so, so happy I found that. Some more 
players who were a big deal when I was this age, back in the day. Players I liked. Some 87 tops in it mixed in here. Um, there's another hologram. This is a Hank Aaron. And there's a 94 Fleer Roger Clemens. Um, it's a cool Cecil Fielder, 51 home run year. So this card here is pretty neat. And um, the back of it's got the 52 tops design. So that's another one of those Sports Stars USA weird uh, cards that I know nothing about, but super cool that I had them and still have them. So we're just going to try to start moving a little more quickly, but I thought y'all would like to see this. This binder has not seen the light of day in more than 20 years um, easily. So I really like that. And like I said, I just kind of flipped through this quickly when I first my parents first showed it to me. And I'm just kind of going through it for a second time right now with y'all. So if I'm lingering too much, it's why. I had the wherewithal to put Frank Robinson in here. It's pretty cool. I used to like this Team 2000 set from Pinnacle. So the um, what I was starting to say earlier, and, and you'll probably notice by now, is there's, you know... The ratio of tops to other stuff in here is pretty significant. Um, not a ton of tops. Not a, not a lot of tops at all. So much pinnacle, Donra, score, all that. Although that's a great Cal Ripken. And uh, look, I even have a Barry Bonds in there. So, some leaf. And I think that's 93 leaf, which is really a great looking, great looking set. <clears throat> Remember when John Olerud was flirting with 400 there for a while? Speaking of 400, there's the 400 home run club. Uh, pretty cool spirit of the game card there with, uh, I guess, who is that? Uh, Conseco and Juan Gonzalez? Oh, yeah. Mike, baseball collector, would like that card. And uh, anyway, so just a whole lot of junk wax, but a whole lot of memories here. Awesome stuff. This is uh, one of those reprints that was given to me by, I think, a guy from my church. So I've actually picked up now a few actual 1953 tops. And uh, Rogers Hornsby is still on my list, though. One I need to get. Um, we're getting close to the end. This, this binder is not completely full, which is good because I also ha I've had a handful of cards that somehow survived from my childhood. I thought all this was lost. I had no clue where any of this stuff was, and. Um, I remember thinking this card was great. Look how dinged up it is. Um, anyway, I thought all this stuff was totally lost, and I and I completely forgot how much other sports I had. I don't think there's any hockey in here, but some more football. 90s football, if you like that kind of thing. And it's right up your alley. That Jim Harbaugh. Here's a cool uh, card that I guess I just kept because either because it's this gold foil, also that's Michael Jackson, which definitely won't show up. But anybody remember uh, Bam Morris? The guy was awesome. The pre pre Jerome Bettis bruiser for the Steelers. 
it's kind of a uh, homoerotic Warren Moon right there. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And don't want anybody to get offended. So yeah, and then there's a bunch of empty pages here, although there are, I think, a few random cards here. Yep, like this Frank Thomas that's on its own page all by itself. And then got a few more here at the very back. Sorry, this is such a long video, but, <clears throat> you know, just kind of going through and uh, looking at this stuff, thought I'd let y'all kind of see it too. Really cool. Um, I think 92 Leaf, Griffey. It's 92? 91, excuse me. Really like that design, though. 1990 Griffey. So, I mean, really do have some good cards in here. And, um, I mean, the condition is rough on some of them, sure. I mean, what would you expect? But, in other cases, I'm impressed with how well uh, I was able to preserve some of them anyway, in my ignorance. Of course, there's many more that got put in the bicycle tires and... Um, you know, God knows what else. But there you go. Not just not just baseball back in the day. I uh, I liked all three of those big sports. So that's it. Um, and also, just this is a top stadium club binder, which is pretty cool. So childhood binder. I'll do a couple more little childhood series things um, uh, because I found some other cards that, um, well, that I've had, but I keep them in like a cigar box. But I'm, I've never shown them just because they're random, super beat up cards from my youth. But since kind of this has resurfaced, I will, uh, I'll make a little video of that. That'll be much shorter. Thank you all for sticking around this long if you've watched, but I was super excited when my parents told me they had a surprise for me and this is what it was. And um, wanted to share. So, anyway, uh, Bela, did you get your blanket because you know it's time for bed, or what's happening exactly? She just hadn't had a cameo in a while. All right, long enough, guys. Thanks uh, so much. It's great to be able to share stuff like this with everybody, and um, hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day.